Greetings, greetings, greetings to you, unlimited lifers. Welcome, welcome, you la family, you la family. Unlimited lifers with me. Ow. You la family. Ow. Unlimited lifers with me. Break it down now. <laughs> Hey, y'all. Hey, how's it going, y'all? If you are live, hashtag live. If you are on the replay, hashtag that replay. I appreciate you for being here, Earl Capule. (laughs) Earl in the building, brother. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you, brother. Go ahead, hashtag that live, man. Thank you for being you, man. Thank you for being live, sharing your presence, your energy, your love, and your light here today. Today, we have a message for you. My name is Jerome Shaw. For those who do not know me, marketing motivator and meditator here, creator of the Open Palm Podcast, coming at you live with a message today. So the message today that we are talking about on our 30-day live challenge in EULA, that is the Unlimited Life Academy, living our lives unlimited, changing lives with our lives, one live at a time. Hashtag hit the button hit the button today. So we are talking about empty your cup for day 14. As we turn the page in our chapter, day 14, empty your cup. It's really cool. Today I've been, uh, (laughs) today I've actually been recording some music on my uh, shakuhachi flute here for a client, a special client of mine. And um, yes, I, I definitely hope that they enjoy the music because I have, I have, you know, I enjoy playing the shakuhachi flute. And so this is the first time that someone is like, ask me, hey, you know, like I'd actually enjoy personalized music. So can, can I pay you for this? And I was like, hey, sure, sure. Why not? We can arrange that. So, so yeah, you never know. You know what I'm saying? You just do something enough times. And when you see the value in you, other people will see it as well. So start seeing yourself as valuable. Jay, what's happening, brother? Thank you for joining the session. Dream Team! <laughs> you tight! Jay Chantalanksy in the building with Earl, man. Thank y'all for joining. I appreciate both of you for being here live. And so today we are talking about empty your cup. Empty your cup cup. What do I mean by this? What do you mean, Jerome? What do you mean by this? Explain. Well, I'm glad that you came. It's time to explain. So there's a story of a philosopher and a Zen master. The story goes that the philosopher came to learn the the ways of Zen, the art of Zen from the Zen master. And as he came to the estate, he sat down at the table and the Zen master put a teacup in front of the philosopher and began pouring tea into his cup. And as he poured, he could just continue to pour and pour. And after a while, he continued to pour and pour until the cup started to overflow with tea. The tea started spilling out of the teacup and there was no more that could go in. And the philosopher exclaimed, oh my God, stop, stop. There's no more can go in. What are you doing? You're, there's too much, it's too much. And the Zen master replied, How can I teach you? How can you learn from me if you do not first empty your cup? And he understood that his cup was full. It was a parallel. It was a parallel. So knowing that in order to learn, sometimes we must unlearn the things that we know now. We must deprogram to reprogram. Understand that in your mind, are programs that are running, running all the time in the background. They're running, they're running, right? Our subconscious mind, so many programs, right? Things that we don't even, that we're not even aware of are running in the background when you get an urge for this, when you get a, a sense for this, when you, you're, you're triggered by, by something, a, a certain smell, a sound, a, you know, anything, right? I talk about how social media for me, you know, technology itself is just neutral. It's just the ways in which we use it, right? Like, uh, like Shakespeare said, nothing is either good nor bad, um, but thinking, 
makes it so. So these programs that run in our minds, I, I've definitely been on social media where I've been checking my Instagram, checking my Facebook. And have you ever logged off of the app? And then as soon as you log off the app, in that small window, that split second amount of time that you could have gone and done something else, right? If you didn't me me and go do another task, you were right back on the device. Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever like it was as if you had fallen asleep and woken up, logged back into the place that you had just logged out of? Crazy, right? Programs, programs. So one of the best ways to acquire wisdom is by asking questions, asking questions. I love asking questions. I feel like, like Jim Quick says, you know, questions are the answer, you know? And I really do believe that it takes a wise person to ask questions. And there is even a quote that says, you can tell a smart person by their answers, but you can tell a wise person by their questions. So in order to ask a question, you know, you are saying that you don't know everything. That's what you're saying when you ask. Because if you did know everything, why would you ask, right? You wouldn't need to know if you knew everything. So when we ask, we don't exist for that moment. Many people are afraid to ask because they are essentially afraid to die. They're afraid to fade into the background for that moment and allow the other person to have the floor. So in the act of asking, you are saying you don't know everything and this puts you in the best position to learn, to learn. So understand that sometimes we must unlearn what we know to either relearn or learn something new. If our cup runneth over and we have all this knowledge, this information, constipation, this analysis, paralysis, we can get stuck where we are. We can get stuck in our thought and we can be unable to learn anything new, right? It was the times when I knew so little that I thought I knew everything. And it was the time now today that I've learned more and more. And the more that I have grown to know, the more I realize how little I actually know. For in my eyes, I'm of the school of thought that there, it's like, um, what was his name? I forget the guy's name. But was it Donald Rumsfeld? I think it was Donald Rumsfeld. He said that there are known knowns, things that we know that we know, right? And that's small. There are known knowns. Then there are known unknowns, things that we know we don't know, right? That's, that's pretty big, known unknowns. But then he says there are unknown unknowns, things that we don't even know that we are unaware of, right? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody, Twan. <laughs> so um, I do believe that more, that less is actually known. You know, more is unknown than known. And I also believe that the inner world is vastly unexplored. That we know more about the outer world than we know about the inner world. That's just my opinion. So... Um, so yes, one of the best ways to acquire wisdom is by asking questions. When we ask, we don't exist for that moment. And it's like Ileana told me, um, you know, when you ask a question, you are a fool for five minutes, right? But the person who never asked the question, they are a fool for a lifetime. You will go a whole life without ever knowing because of pride, because of ego, right? That stopped you from just relinquishing, you know, just fading into the back and just asking someone who has the answers that you seek. So I do respect my elders. I respect the pioneers that paved the way for me, especially in this wonderful challenge and Unlimited Life Academy. The people who paved the way for me, I respect you. I respect you. And I will always be asking you, asking you questions because I do believe that to know the road ahead, ask those coming back. It serves you well to ask someone who has already been down the road that you are traveling. They might be able to help you avoid potholes in the street to dodge something that they saw, right? You know, it's kind of like, um, what is that app? Waves or something? Waves? There's an app called Waves, I believe. It's like a GPS app where you'll see people pinging like, hey, uh, traffic up ahead. Hey, there's a, there's a crash up ahead. Hey, there's a car wreck up ahead. Hey, there's a police officer up ahead, right? 
And they're letting you know what's in front of you before you even get there. That's what it's like to ask someone who has already been where you're going. To know the road ahead, ask those coming back. So, um, hey, y'all, thank you for being live, Richard. I appreciate you. Wow, Richard, you jumping on the live. Thank you. Uh, yes, Waves, Waves, thank you. I thought it was Waves. <laughs> thank you for that correction. I appreciate that. Waves, yes, you know the app. So, understand that this is not just a challenge. This is an opportunity for you. If you have not yet, you know, pressed that red button and taken the challenge and just, you know, punted fear, punted procrastination and just pressed record. Understand this is a wonderful opportunity for you, my friend. Don't be afraid to ask this community questions. We have people in this community, Tiopo and Network Marketing. We have Tuan, who knows about leadership. We have Gina and Rowen, who are great at social media marketing. We have Ron Carter, who's awesome at affiliate marketing, right? Chris Lee, who can teach you tons about YouTube. So many people, even Jay here, even Earl. Like These guys are great motivators for me. They have taught me so much already, and they probably don't even know how much they've taught me. And you have a wonderful community here that you can ask questions. So don't be afraid to ask questions. You might be surprised by what you find. And also, don't be afraid to ask yourself questions because here's a little nugget. Oftentimes, we already have the answers to the questions that we seek, you know? And uh, I think someone told me, maybe it was you, Earl. I forget who said it, but they said that when you rearrange the letters in listen, the word listen, when you rearrange the letters, it spells silent. So often the answers that you seek to the, to the questions that you're asking are right here. They're right here inside you. And if you are silent, I believe that you can receive answers without questions. You don't even have to ask and answers can come to you. But that's a story for another day, my friend. So this is not just a challenge. This is an opportunity for you, a wonderful opportunity for you to use the, the resources that you have available in this crew that is, is steadily, steadily developing itself into a dream team <laughs> with many like-minded individuals who are learning and growing themselves. You can utilize this. Don't be afraid to ask questions. So thank you for being here, my friend. The most valuable thing that you can give is your time. And I thank you for giving your time here today. Thank you for spending your time with me. I do believe that uh, Charles Buxton said that you will never find time for anything. To have time, you must make it. So I have made the time to give you this message and I appreciate you and I value you for making the time to listen to it. It means all the world to me. Comment below if you gained a wonderful nugget or if you just want to share something with the group, this wonderful community, we'd love to listen. I myself will meet you down in the comment section. Show some love if you resonated and share this with someone who needs to hear it. Pay it forward today. And let me go back and uh, just just uh, acknowledge y'all for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Earl. I appreciate y'all for being live. Thank you so much, y'all. Man, y'all are awesome. So on to the next one today. That was day 14, chapter 14 in uh, the 30-day live challenge here for the ULA members, Unlimited Life Academy. <laughs> Take care, my friend. Be blessed. Be well. Have a wonderful, prosperous, and productive day. Make it a great one.